Hey, thanks for stopping by this page today. I'll make this quick since I know you're busy and I respect your time. Over the past year and a half, I mastered a new skill which has allowed me to add on recurring revenue to my business. It's allowed me to build assets in different niches that I've never even been in before. And without anyone even viewing me as an expert or authority in that niche. In fact, many of these assets I've built, I didn't even use my name or my existing branding. I started new brand names from scratch. Paul James here and for the very first time ever, I'm going to show a small group of people how to build their very own software as a service business. But before we get into the details, let me show you the kind of businesses I've been able to build from scratch by selling software. All right, so the first one I wanna show you is here on Stripe. Um, you can see total volume here, 127,559. And uh, this is a software as a service as well, so um, a lot of this money is recurring. All right, another uh, software company of mine, also on Stripe, but on a separate Stripe account, uh, $12,842. This is recurring. Uh, this, this software as a service has a monthly fee. So um, you can see I get, I get pretty small transfers uh, every single day uh, for, for smaller amounts, but still pretty nice because this is recurring income. Uh, this one's also in a niche that I uh, never was an authority in, uh, not an expert. So something that I started from complete scratch and actually have uh, more on a different payment platform as well, but I initially started this one on Stripe. All right, and I'm blocking some, uh, some of them out that aren't relevant, but right here is another one. This one is uh, $9,899. Uh, the one below it, this is also a software, $22,698.59. Um, this one right below it as well, $7,694.13. Uh, Alright, and then right here, this one goes with that other Stripe account, the smaller one that I showed you earlier. We've got another $7,539 uh, through this one as well for that same software. Then up here is a smaller one, $4,363. Um, still from a software, but just was kind of a smaller one. But that's okay because this one didn't take much money to fund. So still equally as cool. All right, and then right here is another one, um, $5,888. Again, uh, another smaller one, but this was, this was actually the same as the last one, just on a different platform. So uh, still about five figures in sales there if you consider the two amounts put together, which is still pretty cool for uh, an investment that wasn't very much. Uh, all right, and then this one right here, $30,535. Uh, again, another software. Uh, that didn't cost too much to get developed and um, some some nice revenue there from that one. Um, all right, and then I want you to pay attention to the dates on this one. This one was a week time frame on this one and uh, $38,481. This is also a software as a service, so this is recurring as well. Now keep in mind that many of the examples that you just saw are in niches where I was not viewed as an authority or an expert. Some of them, I didn't even use my name. I created a name from scratch and built it into a recurring revenue business. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I don't even know how to program. Now, you'd think that in order to build your own software that you'd have to actually know how to program, right? Wrong. You just have to know how to hire someone to do it for you. And some of these examples were coded for a few hundred dollars. In fact, the return on investment for software I've built has been some of the biggest returns for me on any money that I've ever invested. I'm talking upwards of like 3,500% ROI. And when you do it right, it can be a quick return as well. Oh, and don't forget that this return is recurring too. It's usually not a one-off thing. You invest once and then you make returns forever on your investment. This is what's called a software as a service business. Now, the truth is it's never been easier to start a software as a service business than right now. But I have to warn you, I made a lot of mistakes starting off and because of that, I ended up wasting a lot of money too. For starters, I didn't know how to hire the right developers to help me build my software. I wasn't sure if I should be hiring like a freelance company versus a regular company. I wasn't sure how to assess their skill level or know if they really knew what they were doing because I wasn't a programmer myself, which meant I didn't know what programming languages to even hire for because I don't speak those languages. And I had no clue how much I should even be paying the developers or how long it should take them to finish a software build. As if that wasn't bad enough, when I finally did figure all of this out, I had no clue how to tell them what I wanted. 
You know, how do you convey your idea in terms that will actually get your point across in an organized fashion? Before I knew the answer to this, I used to get my software delivered back to me completely different than I had envisioned it and had to nearly start over from scratch. In fact, I can remember this one time I had to hire an entirely different developer to rebuild my idea all over from scratch, starting all over from the beginning, and it was my fault. And then, when I finally had my software done the right way, I had no clue how to price it so that it would sell. I can't tell you the number of mistakes I made here, and it's detrimental to not make them, or you just wasted all of your time and money developing your software. Should you bill once and give lifetime access? Or should you make it recurring and bill monthly or yearly? How do you know people are willing to pay a recurring fee for your software? These are all answers I had to figure out the hard way and it cost me a lot of money and frustration getting those answers. But the good news is you don't have to go through all of this frustration and take on all of the financial burden that I did. Because once I made it past these hurdles, developing software became extremely easy and profitable. It's actually really fun now, and I wanna give you a chance to experience that too. So today, I'm extending you a very special offer that I've never made available before. This is something that I wish I would've had access to when I started my very first software business because it would've saved me so much trouble and money. I'm inviting a small group of people to a brand new live training workshop where I'll outline everything you need to deploy your very first software. And I'm also running this at an insanely special price which will be extremely limited. The reason I'm doing it is because this is a brand new workshop that I will be taking and turning into a higher ticket course later on. So basically, you get to be one of the first people in and watch me create this from scratch via this live workshop. Now upon paying, you'll be taken to instantly register for the live workshop. You can attend from the comfort of your own home by accessing the call. You know, there's no need to travel or anything like that. And I'll be happy to answer your questions as we go and break down everything on this call. Everything that you need to start your very own successful software company. So here's the deal. All you need to do is click the buy button now and then register for the live training workshop. Thanks again for your time today and I'm so excited to share this with you.